Today I'm taking a look at this 3-pack of USB-C to USB-A cables. Nice short ones, so they have a few interesting use cases. Nice simple packaging, nothing too exciting. So you get an idea how it's going to be packaged. This is what the cables come in the box like. Approximately one foot in length, which is one of the main reasons I picked these up. The rating on these cables is fast charging, 5 volt, 3 amp max. Also it has USB 2.0 speeds, 480 megabits per second, which will get you around 40 to 60 megabytes a second. So definitely not good for data transfer, but at the very least, let me try that out. Fast charging protocol, QC 3.0 and 2.0. You've got the USB-C on one side, USB-A on the other. The ends are a mix of metals here and plastic with the braiding. So they definitely feel pretty decent quality. Actual cable itself does have some flex to it. So in this case, we've got a GoPro charger here. Pop that in. It's working. Of course, you can always use a dedicated charger if you want. You've got the standard USB-A, which is very compatible with a lot of stuff. Let's try this Nikon Z5. We've got the little light on there indicating that it is charging. Another example, we've got a uh, Osmo Action. It's charging, no issues. Next up, let's try this Andy Cine Pocket RGB Light. This one can be particular about chargers, so, but it looks good. So no issues there. Let's see what it's pulling. 1.6 amps. Of course, you wouldn't want to be using something like this if you're going to use the light as well. You want more length, but in this case, when I'm doing traveling stuff, I want smaller cables, having something that's uniform and short is pretty nice because I can of course have multiple going off this device and the cables are just a little bit easier to deal with when I've got short ones. All right let's try these out in a data situation see how they work. Start with the Z5. Seize the camera. It's good. So it doesn't show transfer speed but it's going decently fast. I can tell that it's not super speed or whatever. So in this case we can see transfer speeds getting around 25, 26 megabytes a second. They could potentially be the camera, so don't expect too much from data transfer speeds with these cables. I think they're more focused on charging. You buy a few of these, a few packs maybe, and you'll get some easily portable USB cables from C to A. So far, so good. I like them. They're short, they're braided, quality feels decent, and they work for charging nicely. Data transfer, that's not something you should buy these for, but it does function. I'm Scott from Drive Bonsai and Tech I Suppose. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.